Well, now that that's done. Well, shit. Now, wish it worked like that. So, you've seen plenty of photos of this. You know the headlights are glazed over. That one broke the other day. So, CJ Pony Parts. So, we'll take our 7 16ths on a quarter inch drive just because it's a lot easier to get in back here. Twist, pops out. Back here. Usually you'll have to unclip the headlight, but since I don't have those security rings, I just pull mine out. Then you've got three bolts for the headlight. One, two, and there's another one down there behind my wiring harnesses. You're not going to undo these small ones though that's your alignment bolts we'll get to those here in a little bit Corner light. Try and get some light in here on it. You see, you've got one down there. If I can get a light in here. There's your lamp. Then you've got one up there. twist pulls out so here's the old set and the new set side by side it's real easy to tell one's definitely in a lot better shape now they're not the best headlights that are out there in the world everybody has their own opinions i like the factory styling but for 128 bucks there's no better way to improve the front of your fox body so let me show you about getting the brackets and alignment screws and tabs off the old headlight and onto the new one. So on the old headlight, we've got three alignment screws. And then we've got this gasket. This gasket, if yours is worn out like mine, will just fall off like that. Just get under that lip. Well, get under that lip there. Just pry it up. That's going to slide onto the new one. Yes, you can buy new ones of these. I, however, am cheap. And there we go. I'll probably wipe it down at least. It's a little ugly right now, but. And then 
for these. Just prime up, knock my camera over. Free up your alignment screws and your bracket. Toss that one off to the side. Maybe this part would have been easier if we did this second. So move that out of the way. There it goes. Now that one's assembled, ready to go back in. almost forgot one of the steps that often is missed when you put this headlight in you know the beams from different lamps have different patterns on them if you don't like the way that your lights are shining once you install these these screws right here just turning them changes the direction you've got three alignment screws one two three you find your socket that fits it I won't say what size because these could be aftermarket ones. I don't know. This car's had a few different sets in it. But put your socket on it. You'll find you a dark spot and a flat wall. Just adjust these to where the aim you're happy with. We'll go through that, but we'll have to wait until the sun goes down. Inside these lights, I'm running these Amazon LED lamps. They came in a nice packaging, came with a keychain tag. Some weird thing, but buddy of mine's got these on his car. He seems to be real happy with them, so we're going to put these in. One issue with these, though, see once we get it into place, 
our ring designed to secure over these lights. I think this is the one that comes with it. It does not fit. So let's figure out what it's gonna take to get this light secured. Well, here's what I decided to do. Some of you may not like it. It is what it is. It's my car. I'll fix it my way. Cut a slit in it. Now simply slide it over. Spread those out past that. Find where your tabs lock in. All right there. Then I'm gonna take this zip tie. Well, maybe not this zip tie. So I'm gonna take two of these zip ties. In case you're wondering why they're that color, these are for plenum rated ceilings. If you don't know what that is, then you have no interest in why they're that color. And there we go. One thing I do like about these, factory in, so that way I can just plug it into my factory plug. All right, maybe I need to put the headlight in first. Now it fits. Bolt it up. Y'all can't tell me for less than 200 bucks there's something that you can do to clean up a fox body better than that. But when the sun goes down, we'll try to get them aligned. We'll see how that goes. So here's about the best spot I have to kind of check alignment where I'm at. But as you can tell, cover one up. And we can see that that spread's definitely different. And one doesn't quite shine out as far. So, if we can get in here, set y'all down right there. So now I can't, I don't know how well y'all be able to see this, but now they're a little more matched and aligned. Had to take some finagling. It's, uh, it's really dark out here. Can't really see. But there we have low beams. There we have high beams. So, 
y'all learned anything, glad I could help. Got any questions, let me know. Besides that, I'll holler at y'all later.